Okay guys, so hello again. It's me about half an hour later and managed to get the case back on this. It was easier than I thought and guess what? I found all 25 screws that put it back together. Yeah, this thing, I don't know what GM was thinking like when they made this. Maybe they just had a surplus of screws. Like there's three on that bottom. Three on that bottom. Three right here, three right here, three right here. Two up here, two down there, another three on the side, another three on that side. Like, maybe they just had a surplus of screws, but found every single one of them. But that one was the last one I put in, and it didn't want to go in very far, so I didn't push it. <laughs> so I don't want to strip a screw or do anything like that. This is just going to see how well it sounds, different it sounds in its case versus out of its case. And just from that short video I showed you guys earlier, that's how much it, that's how much humidity it removed. Now tell me, you can't get that from a modern unit, that much humidity being removed in such a little time. And this is only a little 8,000 BTU unit. Oh, before I show you that, I want to show you something that's kind of rare. This is the, uh, let me move this out of the way. This is its filter. Still intact, most of it. From 1970. This is the original. Still, like, it's coming unglued. I might need to glue it back a little bit, but clean it up the best I could. Still some dirt on it, but a lot cleaner, like, it's the original filter. And it, it does have another piece of filter that goes on right here. And I'll show you how to install it in a little bit, but first let's see how it runs with the uh, case back on. Let's see, can I... It's already too hot to make the thermostat click, but put it on exhaust. To me, it sounds a little different. I'm still pushing a lot of air out the back. A lot of air is getting sucked in the side right here, too. Yeah, it's still sucking in a lot of air. And it's good, it has plenty of airflow. Let's just test out this front here. A lot of air. You can see my hands shaking. But. but yeah, yeah, that's how this thing works. It's, it's, it's basic. It does it does its job. Interesting design, I will say that for the propeller behind the evaporator. Propeller fan behind the evaporator and put the vents on the side and bottom. Anyway, and that's how that works. And let me pause and I'll put the filter in real quick. Alright, so I got the filter assembly put in. It just slides in on the sides right here. There's supposed to be part right here that also was filtered, but I'll put that on. I have some quick cut in my room. I'll just have to recut it out. But the way this filter goes in, honestly, is a pain in the ass. You almost have to like take these knobs off, take this cover off. The glue, I need to re-glue this on, but I'm going to take it off because they don't give you much clearances just, like, to put it through. <laughs> it gets stuck in your... I feel like I'm gonna rip the damn thing. It's honestly, I'm it's honestly surprised that side filters have lasted that long. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Well, you have to put it on, but the filters most of it. There's like that slight bit. Maybe if I could pull it up or push it up a little bit, it might. And see how if I push it up, it hits that. Just wasn't wasn't a very well thought out design in my opinion, but it works. So yeah, now let's see how it does on. Not see how well this fan performs. Still quite well. Still pushes pushes the air, has no problem sucking through the filter. Yeah, now let's put it to air conditioning. I'm gonna put it on cooling mode, I mean, I'm sorry. And uh, put it right by the compressor again. Let's see if I could actually line it up so you can see inside of it too. There you go, perfect shot. Yeah, now see now it's in its case and it does sound different out of its case. The compressor sounds dampened more. But it's quieter out of its case. Ah, oh, it's so cold. Now 
I will be hoping to install this sometime because the windows in my house are the ones like this. I mean, I'll always talk shit about them, never actually show them to anybody. This is this is what I got. This type of window. Let me back up a bit so you can see better. These are the windows I got in my house. The sliding, the crank out windows. Measured one, it comes out to like fill up like this section right there. So have to figure out a way to get that going. Uh, but that's not the main show of the event, but this unit will fit in there. I'll I may have to do some, do something to make it fit properly, but I, but I will make it fit. <laughs> Hopefully in my bedroom window. And this thing will keep it an ice box, no issues. Oh yeah, just in that couple minutes, I saw, already saw some water starting to drip into this pan right down there. Hot water right there. It's from just, it's from this run alone. So yeah, I'd give this thing a pass. A solid pass. One more temp check to find my damn temp gun. Oh yeah, those speakers are really, really nice. So I wanted for like 60 bucks at the since um, Indiana Airport. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't hold the help myself. I had to get it. Um, let me turn my light off so I don't glare. 49. 57 is the loop temperature. Yeah, I, th I think this thing's working perfect. 43. 42, 40, 39. Yeah, I think I think this is working pretty good. I don't know about, I don't know about you guys, but oh, I'd, I'd be happy with these temperatures. 36, somewhere around there. Yeah, 30. <laughs> the corner I said wasn't working well is now the coldest corner, 29 degrees. <laughs> Proves me wrong right there. Good job. 33 right here. Yeah. I'm gonna reset it so that max temperature goes away. And look at that, the highest temperature it's putting out is 47 degrees. Um, yeah, I think I think this thing's working good. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Take care, see you next time.